What's going on, friends? Ryan Dorn here, your friendly neighborhood sales coach. Hey, whether you are listening on the podcast or watching on one of our videos, be sure to subscribe so you never miss the great stuff. I still think it's great. The great stuff that we're sharing here to help you aid your sales and marketing life. All right, this week, we're talking about value in every interaction, value in every conversation. Are you a value rich? Are you a value laden salesperson? Now, I think we need to back up for a second. If you're providing value in every conversation, people are gonna call you back. If you're providing value in every email conversation or email interaction, guess what? People are going to email you back. Why is it that most people call me back? Because typically the conversations aren't always about sales. They're about providing value to you, whether you're watching on, on a podcast, uh, watching on YouTube or listening on a podcast. I try to bring you value with each video. Now, some of the things you might not need help with, that's okay, but value is everything that's in my brain. All right, so let's talk about prospecting for a second. Okay, you're requesting a meeting from somebody. Fine. What value will that potential customer of yours get if they grant you a meeting? If they don't feel that there's going to be value or it's going to be, it's going to be a value-rich conversation, why are they going to give their precious time to you? The answer is they're not. So you've got to be asking yourself, what value can, if they give me the meeting, a prospect, what value are they going to get out of it? Now, don't be altruistic and think, well, the value is I'm going to give them a better piece of software. The value is I'm going to give them a better marketing solution. The value is I'm going to give them better ROI. Well, everybody's promising that. So maybe you could come to them with a competitive advantage. Maybe you could come to them with brand new ideas. Maybe you could save them money, which be save them money and time, which would be a great thing. But I don't know that that is the top of the priority list. Depends upon the industry that you're serving and what it is that you're doing. The takeaway on this should be value. If they're going to give you a meeting, they need to get some value back out of it. Okay. Now proposals. You presented a proposal. Why should they close quickly? Well, is there value as a part of the closing technique? For example, if you're able to sign this contract in the next 14 days, it's going to save you $1,500. Just as an example, if you're able to sign this agreement within the next seven days, we'll give you a bonus of 500 additional dollars in advertising or marketing. There's value to them actually re-engaging with you. Are you following what I'm saying here? Value is so unbelievably important in everything that we do. If I don't bring you value, watching these videos, listening to this podcast, guess what? You're not going to listen again. You're not going to subscribe. You're going to unsubscribe. People say to me all the time, why do you get very few unsubscribes from your e-newsletter? Well, I work hard to create valuable situations where when you watch or listen, you get value. Ask yourself when you're setting up a proposal, is there any value to them closing quickly? Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're discounting, you're discounting. No, what I'm doing is trying to create value or perceived value in every interaction that's there. All right, we talked about prospecting, we talked about proposals. Now let's talk about retaining customers. What are you doing beyond the sale? Oh, I offer great customer service. All right, great customer service is expected. What value does somebody get besides the service that you sold them? See, a lot of your organizations are set up that once a salesperson sells, they're out of the equation. The problem is you're going to have to go back and retain or resell or renew these people and they haven't heard from you all year. The value as a salesperson that I bring, the greatest value is in referrals. I want to consistently and constantly be bringing valuable referrals to people. So I'm not checking in on people. Hey, how can I help you? What does the perfect referral look like? What can I do to make a difference in your business? It's those type of things, friends, that are value rich. Value. Everything you do needs to be rich in value, dripping with value. You need to be thinking of yourself as a value-centric salesperson. And when you do that, friends, guess what you'll find? You'll find that you're getting customer meetings faster. You're getting proposals signed a lot more quickly. And then you're also retaining customers for a lifetime. Value, friends. Value. Price is what they pay. Value is what they get. If I can be of help to you or your sales team from a motivational perspective or a coaching perspective, reach out to me, ryan at ryandoran.com. Love to come and motivate, pump up your sales team. All right, friends, be sure to subscribe down below. We'll see you next week.